watching Louisiana Living with Ashley Dowdy on Fox 14. Welcome back. It's Friday, and that means Rennie Dow Hanick is here with Paul since she's here to introduce us to our pet of the week. Not up for adoption, but uh, definitely has a great story, and she's kind of a little bit camera shy. Yes. Uh, Rennie, look how cute. She has been really laid back, but uh, the cameras kind of make her a little nervous. But uh, tell us her story. It's a great story. Well, it is a really ironic story. So, um... She was originally known as Jasmine. She was brought in in a rainstorm, pulled out of a ditch full of mud, and very, very pregnant. She got pulled by Paws and became one of the Paws rescue dogs and was sent up to DFW Beagle in Dallas. So fast forward, my kids are looking for a new dog, my son and my daughter-in-law. They saw her puppies on the webpage. Wanted her puppies, were told you can't have a puppy because you have a toddler. Saw her, fell in love. They read her backstory, and she was a Washtenaw Parish animal shelter dog. So, as it turned out, Lane was adopted, even though she started as a Paws dog, went to DFW Beagle Rescue, and now she's part of my family, and it's just that full circle. She's back in Louisiana for the first time since she left. Oh, so your kids adopted her in Dallas, is yes. that correct? So that is the most ironic yeah. thing. And here you can see what happens with a dog that makes it out to rescue. Mm -hmm. She had no chances in that ditch, very, very pregnant. She probably, you know, would have not made it because she had heartworm and everything else. She's been treated. And now she's got the perfect little life and Aww. she's been saved. So you just, you can't beat rescue. And she's a happy girl. And she happy. is. Rescue's so wonderful. And that also uh, brings us to adoption. If you adopt a dog, um, you don't have the commitment of having to to keep the dog if that's something she oh, want to do. I mean, I'm sorry, yes. the foster. Excuse yes. me, the foster. But it uh, definitely helps them uh, be adopted yes. by another home. Yeah, I mean, she went through foster care while she did her heartworm treatment. Mm -hmm. And um, that foster who kept her gave her a chance at a great life. And we always need fosters. So please go to pausenila.org and look at our foster application form. Okay, and how can we adopt a sweet little dog like this one here? Well, we have so many shelters in the area. Mm -hmm. Just look up a shelter near you. We have the Monroe Humane Society in Monroe. We've got Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter here on Wells Road. We've got Four Paws Rescue in Ruston and Ruston Animal Control. And all of them have just some amazing dogs. They really do. And we got the yeah. chance to see them during Clear the Shelters. Yes. How did Clear the Shelters go? Went really, really well. We adopted out 30 dogs mm -hmm. um, that afternoon. And... Um, and cats and then everybody saw an uptick in their traffic it was a very very busy day so NBC Fox did a great job in promoting us it was wonderful well, that is that's such good news what's going on with Paul's coming up well right now we're just getting ready for some more outreach um, we will go to different communities and talk about spay and neuter and bring the tag machine and stuff mm -hmm. so we encourage people to follow us on our Facebook page and find out where we're gonna be and um, you know just starting to gear up for fall and mm -hmm. all those good things. Are you still going to the schools? That's a good idea to talk to the children about the importance yes. of spay or neuter so they can relay that information on to their parents. Yes, I, I'm waiting for teachers to start to contact me mm -hmm. and, and book for the fall. So if you just go once again to Paws Neela Facebook page, send us a message and I can come do humane education in your school or at different senior complexes. Pretty much anybody who's interested, we will come out. Okay, we're still having the warm weather, and um, I've been seeing a lot of the commercials with um, treating your your dog for fleas and ticks. Mm -hmm. Is it is tell us how important it is to do this monthly? Oh my gosh! So you know how it feels when mm -hmm. you're sitting outside and mosquitoes are biting you constantly, or the no seams. Yeah. Imagine being a dog covered in fleas, and it just goes on day and night. So it's very miserable for them. They can get flea allergies, which actually causes their skin to die, and their skin gets very very raw. Ticks mm. carry a lot of diseases, so that's something, you know, and it can be transferred to you. So it's just in the best interest of your dog to give them the proper prevention. Mm -hmm. You know, think of it like mosquito bug spray for you, their flea and tick prevention for them. Okay, well, tomorrow you can go to the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter or some of the other shelters and adopt a new family pet if that's what you'd like to do. Yes. Thank you so much, Rennie, for joining us and bringing this sweet baby who now has a happy life. Yes. Due to adoption.
And coming up, Edna Matthews is here to tell us about her book, Be Encouraged. And you will be encouraged when you hear all about it. You're watching Louisiana Living on Fox 14. At McCann